Hi everyone, today we will be talking about uh, uh, modular arithmetic. So, let me give you some example to illustrate what this modular arithmetic means. Uh, uh, let me do one thing, let me just quickly uh, put the slide, then we will see uh, how it's come. It's modular. So here we have a look at this example. Uh, so you have uh, 20 is congruent. Congruent. Actually, there are three horizontal lines, but uh, I'm unable to explicitly insert a uh, special character. Oh, I can do it. I think yes, I can do it. Beautiful. I can insert. The equivalence character from down here it has to be somewhere in here. Let me quickly take it out. Let's go down. It should come now in a minute. These are now the mathematical fonts. Should see it through. Yes, now it's come here. This was so. This twenty is equivalent to five. Voila, three. This means that 20 is congruent to 5 modulo 3. It also means that 20 minus 5, that is 15, is divisible by 3. Or it's a multiple of 3. So, this is basically the essence of modular definition, definition of two numbers being equivalent to each other modulo a third. So, let us uh, state the definition of modular arithmetic. Uh, definition. A is congruent to B mod N means or, or rather if and only if A minus B is a multiple of N. And note that here A and B, A comma B and N are all integers. Very important. Now, no, also note that A is congruent to 0 mod N means that A is a multiple of N. It's quite clear. So, your B is equal to 0. So, A minus 0, which is A, is a multiple of N. So, when you see a 0 on the right hand side of a modular relationship, it means that the left hand side is a multiple of N. Okay, so here I'll give a second example. Uh, 16 is congruent to 0 mod 4 because 16 is a multiple of 4. It's quite clear. Okay, so now let us uh, take a look at some interesting properties of this modulo arithmetic properties. So we will have a look at uh, you can add, subtract, or multiply the same number from both sides, or you can say to both sides of a modular relation. This means if A is congruent to B mod N, then A, what you have is A plus some number C is going to be congruent to B plus small c modulo N. And similarly, A minus C is congruent to B minus C modulo N and 
A multiplied by C is congruent to B multiplied by C modulo N. And it's quite easy to verify this. You can use the definition of modulo arithmetic, this definition, namely this one. You can use it to prove each of those three cases. It's very easy. So I can um, write down the proof for one of them. The proof for the other two follow exactly the same manner. So let us write the proof for the first property. Uh, a is congruent. Oops, I'm sorry. A is congruent to. So I'll again need to insert this little symbol down here. B modulo n. This is given to us. Okay. So therefore, A minus B is a multiple of n, which means that. So proof of property of first. The first property continued. So here, this means that is a minus b is equal to some number k times n, where k is some integer. Now, let's take a let's let's do one thing. So you have you have a plus c and you have b plus c. So Let's go back here. Um, what I will do is instead of saying now, I will say so a is equal to b plus k times n. Adding c to both sides, you have we get a plus c is equal to b plus c plus k times n. Or a plus c minus b plus c is equal to k times n. That is a plus c minus b plus c is a multiple of n. Therefore, a plus c is congruent to b plus c mod n. You see, it's quite easy. It's quite an easy proof. So exactly in the same manner, using just the definition of modulo arithmetic, you can uh, prove the other two results. And I will leave it to you as an exercise.